I started by outlining the shape I want on my face. And then I start my first layer of my white base using Superstar Face Paint in 021. Remember to let the face paint dry before applying your next layer. And the key is to keep building up on the layer until you are happy with the consistency. Once I got the consistency that I wanted, I'm then going in with Superstars Colour 023 to fill in the black areas which will help with the illusion of the skull. And then you want to go in with a white translucent powder just to help set. Moving on to the eyes, I'm outlining the eye sockets with Superstars face paint in Magic Blue and I'm just going all the way around the eyes and then I'm bringing it three quarters of the way in. Taking this deep blue colour from the Morphe 35B palette and I'm just darkening the edges of the eye socket. lighter blue shade from the same palette and placing that on top of the eyelid and the lower eye and then blending that into the darker blue. And then going in with this bling tone bell bottom blues eyeshadow and I'm placing that all over the eye socket, mostly on the eyelid and this is going to give it a real glittery shimmery look. To add more shimmer, I'm going in with Vega from the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and placing that all over the blue. Then taking Superstar Colour 128 and slowly, carefully, and little by little, applying this to create the shape I want around the eye socket. Then we're going to outline the eye socket using NYX Vivid Brights Vivid Sapphire. And then we're going to outline each shape around the eye socket. And then taking the Superstar Glitter Gel in red and placing it on the red areas of the pattern. Moving on to the other patterns on the face, you can do whatever you want but this is just my design. I'm going to start by creating a purple diamond shape and I'm using Superstars Face Paint in Purple Rain. I'm then going to outline this with Snazaroo's Sparkle Yellow. Then taking this purple glitter gel from Superstar and placing that over the purple and then doing the same with the gold glitter gel. Moving on to the teeth, I'm taking that Snazaroo sparkle yellow colour and creating individual teeth with it. Then 
taking this yellow shade from the same Morphe palette and using it just to set the face paint. Now taking that black paint we used earlier and creating outlines of the teeth. Afterwards you want to then create a thin line in between the lips, so you want to do a thin line on the top and a thin line on the bottom. And then taking that gold glitter gel again and placing it on each individual tooth. Now I'm starting to create my patterns on the rest of the face and I'm using that dark blue shade from the Morphe 35B palette and that light blue shade that we used earlier. And I'm starting off with the dark blue and then using the light blue and blending them together so it's a gradual effect. And then taking the blue glitter gel and placing that on the darkened areas. Taking the NYX Vivid Brights liner in Vivid Fire and outlining the teeth. Now I'm going to continue with my patterns using the same colours as the blues that I've done on the eyes and the forehead pattern and just taking my time with it, starting off small so then you have the right shape and the right consistency. again deepen in certain areas of the pattern to give it a bit of dimension. I'm then doing the same as I have on the forehead and applying glitter to the darkened areas. Then taking Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow Untamed and just drawing in lines in between those blue lines. Using the same colour, I'm going to draw a triangular shape in the middle of my chin. And then taking Makeup Geek's Flamethrower and creating a semicircular type shape on each side on the chin. I'm now going to draw out some flowers on each side of the forehead and I'm going to start off with the centre of the flower and I'm taking the red shade from the 35B Morphe palette and then I'm applying that red glitter gel to the centre. Taking that Vivid Fire liner from NYX and I'm going to start outlining my petals. Once I have the pattern I want, I'm going to create dimension by adding this orange colour from the 35B palette and blending it outwards. And then I'm going to apply purple glitter gel to the outer areas of the petals. I'm just adding red glitter gel to give more effect to those areas. I'm now going to apply gems to the face. You can apply them wherever you want to, you can change the whole pattern of the candy skull if you want to. And I'm just using duo eyelash glue to stick the gems on. And this is the finished look. For the flowers I just bought them from Haskins and Hobbycraft and just glued them to hair clips. Like I said earlier, you can do what you want with your candy skull. 
you could make it more simple or you could go really extreme. Just remember to give yourself plenty of time when doing it because it's very intricate. So I loved how this turned out in the end and I hope you really enjoyed it and it was really helpful to you and most of all thank you for watching. Thank you.